Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Andrew Maxwell. I'm a lecturer in the Faculty of Engineering and Surveying and I work within the electrical, electronic and computer discipline of the faculty. I just want to take a little bit of time now and talk you through this presentation entitled Clever Country, Smart State and how do you fit in? Well, first of all, what are you interested in? This is the fundamental question you need to ask yourself. Are you actually interested in electricity, electricity supply, systems of that nature, renewable energy, electronics and computer hardware, software engineering? Are you interested in industrial control systems or even robotics? These are the questions you need to ask yourself because we might have a degree qualification that will suit you. There's a fair amount of overlap in the degrees that we offer within the faculty and I just want to take you through some of those offerings to see if they might actually help you. First of all, the Faculty of Engineering and Surveying is situated in the Toowoomba campus and it is from that location that we distribute all of our courses and our degrees to both on campus and external students. So we get back to the question, what are you interested in? Well, if you are interested in electrical and electronic engineering, then our students can learn about electrical design, radio, television, mobile communication. They can learn about internet and wireless systems. They can also learn about antenna design, satellite communication and electrical machinery. The types of applications that this sort of degree might offer is you might get to work with medical electronics, mobile phone systems, wireless communications and many, many more. Are you interested in computer systems engineering? If so, then that's concerned with the design of computer systems, anything from large servers down to small desktop systems, and even to what we call embedded systems. These are small computers found in mobile phones, games, and media players. If you did a degree in this area, you would learn about microprocessors, how to program them, talking directly to the chip, and even how to process audio and video. Are you interested in instrumentation and control? If so, then this degree will talk about and deal with instrumentation, sensors and control systems, fluid engineering. These concepts have been incorporated because a lot of these programs are relevant to the needs of the heavy industries. If you have something that needs to be mined and needs to be processed or manufactured, you need to have control and instrumentation engineers. So how do you reach your goals? You could choose from a full-time, part-time while you work, or a combination of those that works for you. A number of companies have cadetships for students in electrical and electronic engineering. So, for example, you might want to study full-time and then work full-time and study part-time. So what is it that you want to achieve? Well, a degree qualification from USQ Electrical Engineering opens up many doors to industry, helping the country with the skill shortage. For you, this is a rewarding career, both personally and financially. So you can choose from any one of the following areas. We have the associate degree, which is two years of full-time study. Up a step from that is the Bachelor of Engineering Technology degree, which is three years of full-time study. Then we have the final degree, which is the Bachelor of Engineering degree, which is four years of full-time study. But of course, you can change your mind along the way. We're here to help guide you. So what is it that we as a faculty emphasise? Well, throughout your study, you'll find that as part of the academic learning, we place a strong emphasis on practical work. A lot of our students do practical work together and in small teams and learn from each other. Also, one of the things that we emphasise are class sizes. You'll generally find that class sizes are smaller. Thus, you can get to speak directly to the lecturer and in case... In, in fact, most students will actually know their lecturer by name. Also, we emphasise the use of technology resources in learning. Say you want to chat about an assignment online from your PC, you can do that. Say you want to review your lecture from your laptop, not a problem, we can help you with that. Can I achieve that? Well, if you're a bit hesitant about whether or not you can achieve this, it might be a good idea to chat to one of our staff. We're here to help, and you can achieve a lot with just the right guidance. So what equipment do we actually have here on campus for you to work with? We have various laboratories covering a great range of the areas that we teach. 
Let me just quickly take you through a couple of the example laboratories and equipment systems that we have for you. We have laboratories in radio frequency engineering where you can learn about mobile communication, wireless networks, satellites and microwave systems. We also have an electronics design laboratory where you get to build and test your own electronic circuits. We have a microprocessor design lab where you can design, build and program your own microprocessor or small computer system. Along from that, we also have a computer networking lab where you get to build your own mini internet computer system and actually network with classmates. As well as this, we have a power engineering laboratory with state-of-the-art industrial motors, generators and lighting systems. And just new to the faculty, we have a new renewable energy lab where you can learn about solar generation, wind power and fuel cells. The electrical engineering discipline has recently had more than $300,000 worth of equipment injected into the faculty. Some of this comes from government, some of it is paid for by industry. We also have specialised software that lets you design power systems, wind generators and many other types of technical systems. Now, in the faculty, we recognise the training needs of industry and university qualifications. We realise that both of those are complementary. We also give appropriate credit for prior work and study experience. We have formalised agreements with Ergon Energy for power systems and biomedical technology services which provide Queensland Health Medical Electronics. Cooperation with these industry employers is essential for your success. It helps you get a good position upon graduation. So how can you find out more? Well, first of all, we'd be happy to talk to you about any of the issues that you're thinking about now with regard to electrical engineering, even if you want to just touch base with us, that's fine. There are several paid scholarships for school leavers in 2010. These will be on our website later in 2009. We also have a direct email communication area for you. If you wish to email us, you may do so at engserv, that's E-N-G-S-U-R-V, at usq.edu.au. And you'll also see in the slides there are three separate links there for you to access further information about the three main areas that we teach, being electrical and electronic engineering, computer systems engineering and power engineering. And finally, I'd like to thank you for watching this presentation. Thank you.